now uh, let's understand uh, the responsibilities of different layer in brief so first we are going to see the responsibilities of physical layer okay uh, the physical layer the first responsibility is the characteristics of interfaces and media which means that what type of uh, medium you are using for communication it can be wired or it can be wireless the next is the representation of bits uh, it means that uh, what is the value of one and zeros okay uh, for example uh, in some networks the representation of one bit can be 5 volt or in some cases it can be 3 volt so in the physical layer uh, it is a responsibility of the physical layer is uh, is to define what is the value of particular bit okay for example one bit can be 3 volt or zero volt uh, zero bit can be zero volt then after the data rate it represents that the how fast we can deliver the data then after the next is a synchronization synchronization means that uh, the sender and receiver should be working at the same rate for example if the sender is for example if the sender is sending data at 2 mbps and the receiver is receiving data at only 1 mbps so due to the mismatch of data rate uh, you can clearly understand that the data is being lost at the receiver side because the sender is sending data at very fast rate but receiver is not able to receive data at that fast at that fast rate so what happening uh, here is that the data is being lost okay so synchronization means that the sender and receiver should be working on the same data rate there should be no data loss okay uh, then after uh, line configuration and synchronization synchronization we just discussed line configuration is that the what type of configuration we are using okay it can be point to point or it can be point to multipoint topology we have discussed then after the transmission modes it can be simplex it can be half duplex it can be full duplex now let's see let me clear okay next layer which is data link layer uh, the first responsibility of the data link layer is framing now what is framing uh, as we uh, just saw that uh, when the packets are uh, uh, transferred to the data link layer we will convert those packets into frame okay packets are generated in which layer network layer so when the packets are passed to the data link layer those packets are converted into frames which is known as framing of uh, physical addressing the data link layer uh, uses physical address to transfer frame from one device to another device okay physical address is also known as mac address which can be found in your phone settings so each device has unique physical address okay uh, this address is 48 bit address and uh, it is represented in the hexadecimal okay so each number each number this is represented in the hexadecimal each digit represent four bits okay and it is separated by colon so this MAC address or it is also known as physical address is unique among all the devices okay no two devices can have same MAC address so two PC can, uh, cannot have same physical address or your mobile and your laptop cannot have same physical address okay the physical address is unique 
uh, then after the responsibility let me clear this so clear 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 hmm. now uh, another responsibility of uh, the data link layer is a flow control and error control now what is flow control is that uh, uh, if the sender is sending data is uh, sender is sending data at 5 mbps and the link that we are using it is not able to send that much data for example the sender is sending data at 5 mbps and the wire that we are using it only can transfer data at 1 mbps okay so in that case if receiver is also if receiver is capable of receiving data at 5 mbps it cannot receive due to the limitation of the wire so for that we have to do some uh, we have to follow some protocols okay and which is known as a flow control and the error control the error control uh, what is error control that there is a possibility that uh, there is possibility that uh, the data which is received by the receiver can have some errors okay that uh, we are sending some message and there is possibility that if the link is broken or the data is not uh, received properly there are many cases that can be happen and if such a uh, thing happens then uh, we should know that how to overcome if there is error in data okay so error control is also responsibility of data link layer then after responsibility of network layer three responsibilities source to destination delivery logical addressing and routing okay now uh, what is source to destination delivery the network layer uses network layer uses ip address to send data from the one device to another device okay so network layer uses ip address and uh, the ip address it is represented like this now if you compare the ip address with the mac address so the difference is that that ip address is not fixed okay in fact the ip address is continuously changing but the physical address of the device is fixed so one device can have multiple ip address it can have changing ip address but it cannot have multiple mac address it can have only one fixed mac address but the ip address is variable okay uh, there are two type of ip address which is known as ipv4 and ipv6 the ipv4 is 32 bit and ipv6 is 120 8 bit now uh, the ipv4 it uses 32 bit it means that 2 raised to 32 devices can be connected to the internet means 2 raised to if uh, all devices are using ipv4 then 2 raised to 32 devices can connect to internet they can communicate to each other right uh, but now the problem is that the number of devices are increasing very much and now you know that the technology new technology are uh, involving and the uh, due to the demanding of uh, ip address okay we have to develop a new protocol which is known as ipv6 and it is very obvious that uh, it uses the 128 bits so that it can use 2 to 128 devices okay so there are a lot uh, 2 to 128 is a very large number and uh, so that uh, we will never run out of ip addresses okay we we are we have plenty of ip addresses to use okay uh, then after the responsibility of next responsibility is a routing routing decide that the which path your packet will follow <clears throat> okay so for example i uh, want to send for example you want to send data from your pc and your friend is living in another city 
okay so the network layer decide uh, defines okay that uh, which path uh, the packet will follow so uh, because uh, there are lots of uh, routers and lots of devices will be available between two cities so the network layer the responsibility of network layer is to decide that which path is most efficient way and uh, uh, which part the packet will follow so that it will be delivered very fast way and efficient way okay so it will decide that the which path it should follow okay now uh, as you can see that this is the representation of ipv4 now in the ipv4 number is represented in the decimal okay and uh, in the mac address number is represented in the hexadecimal and uh, the all number all numbers are uh, differentiated by dot notation so it is dot notation in the mac address they are separated by colon right this thing you have to remember uh, now let's say the responsibility of uh, transport layer the transport layer it uses port address to deliver segments okay port address can be found in your browser so the first in this uh, in the tab the first thing is uh, address which is ip address and after the colon this is port address okay the uh, the next responsibility of transport layer is the segmentation and reassembly now what is segmentation and reassembly and why we need such thing so for example suppose that you want to send message hey to your friend so the transport layer this data will be sent to transport layer you know that in the transport layer the data will be divided into different segments okay and this segment will be sent now at the receiver side uh, at the receiver side it is very obvious that this segment may reach at different rate and it will reach at the different sequence so what i'm trying to say is you are sending hey message and the transport layer will divide into segment h e and y at the receiver side it is not uh, it is uh, it's not obvious okay that uh, uh, h e y will be received at the same sequence there is a possibility that uh, at the receiver side e will be received first then after h and y will be received and if we directly deliver this message then your friend won't understand that what you just sent him right so uh, in the transport layer when the data uh, at the sender side when the data is uh, divided into segment each data will be given particular number okay so for example h is given number 1 uh, it is given 2 and it is given 3 okay so as you can see that here the data is h and in header it will be number 1 this is e and number 2 and the data is y and number 3 so this segment will be travel to the uh, to your friends device and at the receiver side now that we have each segment number each segment number at the receiver side transport layer knows that the which data is first and which data is after that so that it can deliver proper message okay so transport layer the responsibility of transport layer is a segmentation and reassembly that at the sender side it will divide all all data into segment and it will assign number and at the receiver side using that number it will again combine the data and deliver to your friend okay now uh 
connection control flow control and error control now flow control and error control we have discussed in the data link layer the flow control and error control are responsibility of both layers so transport layer also uh, uh, it is also responsibility of transport layer that is flow control and error control and it is also responsibility of data link layer now the responsibility of session layer the first is a dialog control uh, the session layer allows two system to enter into dialog and the second responsibility is a synchronization it allows a process to add checkpoints so it means that uh, for example if you are downloading a large file for example the size of the file is 10 gb and uh, your uh, network uh, fails to download and you uh, have download 8 gb and now from that uh, you just you have download 8 gb and uh, your network fails so that you cannot download anymore so if you retry then the process uh, the process was stopped at 8 gb it will continue from the 8 gb so the downloading will continue from 8 gb it doesn't download from the start again right so that is known as a checkpoint so using checkpoint you don't have to download the whole packet whole data from the start okay you can download the you can continue downloading data from where it was stopped the responsibility of the presentation layer is encryption compression and translation okay so uh, in the website when you see the http or https it means http is insecure and https is secured okay uh, the compression you know that the whole uh, file if the uh, size of the file is very large then you can compress uh, so that the data is reduced and using the compression you can send very easily and the responsibility of application layer the application layer enables user to interface with your device okay uh, there are many protocols are available for the application layer such as dns SNTP, dhcp snmp tftp telnet smtp http ssh ftp these all protocols that we are going to discuss okay so uh, this was the brief information about each layer we are going to discuss each and every layer in detail okay so that you will understand a uh, little more little more better so uh, this is it for this tutorial you will meet in the next tutorial thank you